Hello. Well, today I wanted to talk about some of the uh, various films I have uh, gotten in the past uh, months. Um, this stack here might not seem a lot, but there is something here, and uh, I shall get into that uh, last. Um, but... Uh, the first three I'm going to talk about, um, um, I, I absolutely have talked about this first film before, uh, but I had it on DVD. I still have the DVD over there. Um, and I got all three of these uh, on Amazon. They were by, like 30 bucks in total, but uh, uh, one was like seven, one was... 10 and yeah so you know they're all just enough to where they're basically they would come to $30 and um I like the I I, I, I actually I love these films or I enjoy these films um and the first film is which I've talked about already is The French Connection um now I know some people weren't super fond of uh the specific transfer on here because of how did some of the uh, 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 transfers that was supervised but for me it was not a huge uh, deal breaker for me um, it was absolutely nice to see this film in high definition um so I, you know, I've talked about this before. Very good film. Um, Gene Hackman won Best Actor. It won Best Picture. Uh, director for William Friedkin, who would also direct the God, uh, not the Godfather, uh, The Exorcist. Two years after this film, this came out in seventy one, 1971. This also won Best Editing. While uh, Roy Scheider was up for supporting actor. Um, uh, I just remember he was always a favorite of mine that from that year. Like I would have loved to have seen him win for this film, um, though he was nominated for uh, all that jazz, which I think he definitely should have won, but no, uh, he didn't. Um, I haven't seen uh, the last picture show in a while, so. Uh, so, you know, I have to watch that again to see if uh, the performance that beat out Scheider uh, was truly uh, uh, deserving. Because, you know, sometimes you may like, have watched something in a while, you kind of can't recall um, whether or not somebody was truly deserving of uh, such an award. Or sometimes it might be like, well, they don't have one or something of that nature. And so just give it to them, which has happened before that we've. Over the course of the Academy Awards, you do see that happen, where uh, somebody who probably should have had an Academy Award gets it, but for the wrong film. Um, or sometimes they are deserving for the film, but it's like they should have more, like at least uh, multiple by the time they win the uh, their more recent one. But um, yeah, his name is escaping me offhand, but uh, yeah, he was in the last picture show. Um, good film. Uh, I enjoy all the extras on here, which I believe were on, on the DVD also, so that's nice that they all got imported back onto the, for the Blu-ray. Sometimes that doesn't happen, and that's always annoying. Um, but yeah, this is a good film. Uh, and then here is Chinatown, which is 50 years old this year. Um, also, not long after I got this, they did make a, an announcement that a 4K version was coming out. And that also has, for the normal Blu-ray disc, rather than having like this also, it has uh, the two Jakes, which was this, which is the sequel to Chinatown. I haven't seen that film in a long time, but it'd be nice to have that just 
for the addition of the sequel, um, which I have, I don't have, you know, I have, I have, I've had this on DVD before. It's somewhere here. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is an interesting film, you know, uh, but what I got the, <laughs> these three films, I rewatched all these back to back to back. Um, yeah, this is an excellent film. Um, Robert Town wrote this film and won the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, which I think is, you know, fair enough. Good, good script. Um, did beat Francis Ford Coppola for uh, The Conversation, which I have talked about, and that was an excellent film. It's funny how uh, Coppola beat himself that year for Best Picture. Um, he didn't get nominated for Best Director because uh, he won... It was nominated and won Best Director and Best Picture for The Godfather Part Two, and he also won Adapted Screenplay, but... Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, I did not get this this time around. Um, I've had this for a while now, but... Yeah. But if Coppola won, that would have been fine, but, you know... Uh, Chinatown... Uh, excellent film, great performances by uh, Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway, um, as well as John Huston. And Burt Young is in this film, and it's just really good. I enjoy this film. It's uh, truly a well-made film. And it's from Roman Polanski, and I know you know what's been said about him. Not really flattering, but not surprising for, you know, what he's done. Um, and then the other film I got with these two is uh, L.A. Confidential, which is a film um, I really love. Um, came out in 1997. It really catapulted the careers of Russell Crowe and Guy Pearce. Um, Kevin Spacey's in this. James Cromwell, David Strathern, uh, yeah, Strathern, uh, uh, Kim Basinger, who won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, and Danny DeVito. Um, and I, I've always enjoyed this film, and, um, you know, I met, I, I watched, I talked about, you know, Good Will Hunting years ago, and how that's my favorite film of 1997, and I still stand by this, but, you know, people often say, like, you know, L.A. Confidential should have won, or this or that, and I'm like, you know, fair enough. Um, um, but, you know, my fondness for Goodwill Hunting kind of, like, sort of over, uh, superseded that a bit, but honestly, re-watching this, I'm like, yeah, best picture, director, this one adapted screenplay also, so those three, I think, should have gone to L.A. Confidential. I do still think, you know, Goodwill Hunting should have won also, aside from supporting actor and uh, original screenplay, best actor for Matt Damon. And um, I don't know, I've always been up in the air with uh, supporting actors between Gloria Stewart for Titanic and uh, Manny Driver for Goodwill Hunting. But uh, yeah, this is a, such an excellent film. Um, you know, I, I love this. I do think this was, you know, it's a situation where uh, overall I would rank uh, Good Will Hunting just above L.A. Confidential just a little bit. But in terms of awards, yeah, because, uh, again, I hadn't watched this in years. But I know I always enjoyed it, like when I saw it on TV and all that. But seeing it again after all, the, all these years, it's just... just sh yeah, it's just amazing. And awards, yes, it should have won Best Picture and Director. I mean, Titanic is a very good film. Um, and a very good uh, technological technological achievement in so many ways. Um, not to take anything away from that, but yeah, I just... Something about this film that is just amazing. Um if you haven't seen this film or uh, any of these three films, 
give them a watch sometime. They're truly amazing. Uh, yeah. And uh, the next two films, um, I got this from Kino Lorber. Um, I've, I've, I, there's some other Kino Lorber films I want to to get, um, and also some upgrades, perhaps. Um, but this is one I haven't. I've seen various times on TV over the years, and I love it. Um, and uh, this is the film that get got a uh, Gary Cooper his second Academy Award, and that is High Noon. Um, just a really good film, uh, excellent western. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff about some of the context of uh, uh, what was said to be like some of the stuff about McCarthyism and of the time and everything but it seems that as time went on you know some changes were done which seems to happen with the script that as time goes on and I know Gary Cooper was uh, uh, conservative so you know he was enough fond of like communism and such so if there were any kind of uh a pair of uh, communist underlying pinnings and such, you know, it, uh, that has been, I've heard, uh, associated with this. And I think by that time they actually shot the film, those were basically gone. But, you know, you know there are some people who are like, you know, the fact that, uh, like, a handful of guys coming into town to kill one guy and then the entire town doesn't want to help that's kind of uh you know you know ridiculous even though that throughout the film you'll see sort of why they have a the sort of attitude they do but yeah the, this film you know has gary cooper grace kelly also has uh lon cheney jr lee van cleef Harry Morgan, Thomas Mitchell, Lloyd Bridges, uh, Katie Ger uh, Horado. Yeah. yeah, great. I'm not able to totally uh, speak correctly. Uh, Otto Kruger. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And also, I like how this, for the 4K and Blu-ray, has a alternate cover. And there is another cover. Of, like, the uh, original poster. But I just keep this one in because I don't know. Uh, I know there are people who love slip covers, and I don't mind slip covers. Um, and I think one thing with a slip cover that's an excellent advantage is if the actual covers themselves are kind of di are actually different, because um, it's kind of cool. You take it off, and then you know it doesn't look like the you know, what you just saw over the uh, actual case. Um, of course, I'm trying to be very careful. And, uh, yeah, my Kino Lorber collection are, uh, is mounting slowly. There is the Dollars Trilogy, which I have right here behind me on DVD, special edition, two discs, special editions, and then the one discs here. Plus this one, uh, Hang em High. I don't know why that's on the bottom. That should be up uh, above, but, you know, whatever. I'll probably fix that. Uh, 
Yeah, I know Keno Lorber has excellent, uh, has been said to have great 4K Blu-ray uh, combos of uh, uh, the Dollars Trilogy. So, who knows? Maybe that will be a purchase I shall make. and Because uh, I've seen that them go fairly down in price, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah. High Noon, really good film. Um, and uh, here is a steel book. Probably one of the last steel books that actually came from uh, uh, Best Buy. And I don't have the 4K disc because I was actually watching it not that long ago, so it's still in there. But there's the Blu-ray and the digital code, which I've already used, so it is kind of worthless. But yeah, <laughs> but I love Cool Hand Luke. Uh, this is my favorite. My favorite film that Paul Newman ever did. Dennis Hopper is in this film. Which, uh, uh. Yeah, I love these. There, if I recall correctly, his hairstyle. Uh, yeah, it has uh, obviously Paul Newman, George Kennedy, who won an Academy Award, deservingly so. Paul Newman, I think he should have won for this. Um, uh, and also, I think a case could be made that he should have won for uh, The Hustler also. Um, perhaps uh, uh, yeah. Uh, cat on a hot tin roof. Um, but yeah, also has J.D. Cannon, Robert uh, Dravis, Lou Antonio, Strother Martin, and Joe Van Fleet who plays uh, uh, Luke's mother. Um, fantastic movie. Um, get Dennis Hopper's in this, you know. Uh, even though he Dennis Hopper was around in the fifties, you know he didn't really take off until you know Easy Rider in the you know sixty nine. So, um, but also he took off not only as an actor but also like a writer director. So, but yeah, and on the back here, my well, yeah. what we've got here. Is a failure to communicate, or however you know, it would be in that <laughs> high nasally voice. Yeah. What we got here is a failure to communicate. Yeah, there you go. I actually read it correctly. Uh, I think this is, you know, Newman's best performance. Um, um, yeah, it's just this is just such a phenomenal movie. I, I just love watching it. Great beginning to end, and also I I got this on eBay, and it was like forty bucks, still wrapped. So even though Best Buy doesn't have uh, any more Blu-rays they're selling, still an excellent uh, film, and the transfer is excellent. So. Yeah. And so, on to this, which are DVDs. And this has, uh, this is, um, <clears throat> Adult Swim in a Box. And I actually took what was on the packaging, took this sticker off and put it here, because, uh, why not? Cash Grab. And it has, a. Uh, in this has Season 2 of C Lab 2021, 
season one of Metal Apocalypse, season two of Robot Chicken, volume three of Space Goes Coast to Coast, um, which last week I talked about and mentioned. Um, also, I was speaking briefly about Cartoon Planet. Um, that was mostly like a uh, like a block where there would be cartoons played in between like the little uh, Cartoon Planet segments with Space Goes Zorak and uh, Brack. Um, but as time went on and once that block was done, they then sort of repackaged all those and put them into 22-minute episodes. Um, um, but yeah. So yeah, the fourth season of Space Goes technically, but... Um, it it's, says season three because it's volume three, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> season one of Moral Oral, which is the only uh, DVD set that actually, of that show that ever uh, came out here in North America. Uh, the rest of the seasons never came out uh, like in Australia. They have seasons two and three, then they have the complete series, so that sucks. Um, and then Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Volume 2, which is interesting, it's Volume 2, but Space Goes is Season 3, when it's actually the fourth season, but yeah. And then there's a DVD of new pilots, which includes uh, the, to the best of Totally for Teens, Cheyenne Cinnamon and the Fab... Fantabulous Unicorn of Sugar Town, the Candy Fudge. Uh, <clears throat> Korgoth of Barbaria, uh, Perfect Hair Forever, and Welcome to Enlightenville. And the total of all of <laughs> these DVDs together is. 1200 minutes so yeah and then you, you open up the top here and just look at all those characters yeah. space ghost yeah, need knock or er uh, Master Shake Brack, Captain Murphy, Meatwad, and so many others. And this was, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was like about 50 bucks or so when I got this. Uh, so, yeah. So, here's the pilot DVD. Uh, let me just put this uh, here. Ooh. And apparently they had a second one of these, which I might, uh, might be able to find on its own, but yeah. You know, on the perfect hair forever, Space Ghost is there. Just gets attacked by a bear so yeah first edition uh, uh, metal uh, metal uh, capocalypse where uh, the metal octopus has begun season one Just turn it like this so that it's there. And it's really cool to have some of the oh, some of this stuff because you know I hadn't had this or more oral or C Lab or Robot Chicken really. I have season one of Robot Chicken for sure. And I know I know that and also all the Star Wars specials of Robot Chicken. Uh, yeah, I guess since I also sort of did this for 
the Space Ghost stuff last week. So I should probably do this for these. Um, though I won't do this for Volume 3 of Space Ghost Coast to Coast since I basically did that <laughs> last week. So yeah, I have a couple of duplicates, but that's okay. They're of shows I love, so I'm fine with that. That was quite the show. <laughs> Dole Swim has some interesting has had some interesting stuff over the years. If you're not familiar with it, um, with the sh with that net, uh, block, and of course, from the mind of Seth Green and Matthew Sunrise, season two of Robot Chicken. Uncensored. Oh, yeah. Stupid monkey. And then, here you go, you can get all these uh, DVDs. There's only four seasons of C-Lab, so I have season two, so I could get the other uh, uh, three, probably fairly easily. George Lowe as the unicorn, Inky Yanky nerd, and it's very perverted. I really enjoyed this show when it was on. It was really cool. And it just has all the episode stuff, like... Yeah. And then deleted animatics and all the stuff that you'd get there, so yeah. Seasons 1 and 2. Or discs one and two, not seasons. I like a uh, robot chicken. It's a very good show, I think. Um, yeah. Good stop motion and everything, the parodies and all. Do it the right way, fine. Do it this way. There. And put that in. And there. Okay. Moral Oral, the only one that I can get here and play it. Official message from Mike Lazo. With some redactions on the back here. The creator of the show says that the he, he's never described this as a uh, Davy and Goliath meets South Park. That's what people have done, but he's like this is more like a throwback and parody of uh, the like Leave It to Beaver and the Innocence, but you know with a religious <laughs> bit to it. Lost commandments. And oh, here we go. Remember, Jesus is cool. The revs. And of course, you know. Yeah, I get these DVDs. Well, I have many of them, so. The lost 11th commandment, thou shalt, 
Thou shalt be ashamed of thy natural anatomy. Lost 12th commandment. Thou shalt only have sex face to face. Man on top. And lost commandment, or lost 13th commandment. Thou shalt not bastardize the American language. Well, there you go. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think a, a, in a lot of ways that's already happened. So, well, that commandment is lost or has been broken a lot. So, yeah, gee, I hope uh, don't go to hell just for that. But, yeah, Moral Oral, such, an itch, such a unique show, interesting show. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of cool. Or that is cool. Oh, I said it's like you know, it's kind of cool. Ooh. So there we go. I love how we got the Lost Commandments. It's uh, it's very nice. Of uh, William Street when they put this out, they uh, they did that for us all, so we can know these last commandments. Shame that these weren't uh, uh, said more and told. Very often, so, yeah. And then uh, C Lab twenty twenty one season two. I love how it's like a comic book. And it's bizarro. Bizarro, the tale of two Murphys. Here's all the episodes and uh, bonus extras, special features, whatever. Obviously, th these parts are truly uh, riveting. Yeah, this part, uh, always riveting, I'm sure, for you all to <laughs> watch. And Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Volume 2. Which actually has... Baffler Meal, the season eight epi premiere of Space Goes Coast to Coast. Deleted scenes, okay, special features, deleted scenes, commentary on episodes like Baffler Meal and, yeah. for a meal.
And then, you know, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast Volume 3, which I already showed. With all this stuff, so, yeah. Yo, what the heck, why not? I already did the others, so. Trip down memory lane. This is 1997. There's Ghost Planet. took the, the discs out, I guess probably because like, for these, I guess I'm like, oh, I want to just show this again, probably, so yeah, there's that, but over there, and I'm like, going to watch them, like, stack it on top and such, so yeah, weird, but yeah, uh, discs one and two, that's where they will go. Yeah, why watch it for free when you could pay for it? There you go. Can't uh, find a fault in that logic. Space Ghost. Coast to Coast. Yeah, I was, oh, I remember, yeah, I sort of just getting this stuff and looking to see what I did and didn't have, and I remembered, yeah, because I was watching these, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to talk about, or mention, the yeah, old swim in a box stuff, so yeah. I'll honestly probably just take these out and rearrange them at some point into with all the stuff that I've got for some of the shows. Actually, I'll put Robot Chicken first. I don't know why, I just want to. And then we're all oral. And I got this box if like my birthday so yeah it's a nice birthday present and there's the back And that is that. I have uh, all this. And also, I have this Space Ghost Coast to Coast shirt. I actually wanted this for last week, but it didn't come. Uh, I, I, it came, like, literally the day after I recorded the video of Space Ghost. So, yeah. I kind of figured that it happened, but I'm like, I, I, I just got to speak about this show and all the stuff it did uh, like inspired and influenced like C Lab was influenced by Space Ghost with the limited animation and recycle animation and then Aqua Teen was a spin off uh, yeah so yeah these DVDs and then yeah uh, these Blu-rays some 4K Blu-rays, 4K Ultra HD. I'd say 4K Blu-ray because that's basically what it is. Just a Blu-ray disc that's in 4K. So yeah, uh, I know I've had more stuff shown over the months and such, but uh, I have one, two, three, four, five. Twelve in total, basically. So, 
not bad, obviously, but you know, uh, I think I've had more. <laughs> of course, I've gone months without, you know, sharing a whole lot of what I've gotten. So yeah. Anyway, I, uh, I hope this video wasn't too boring, uh, but yeah, it's kind of interesting and to look back at all this stuff that I've seen before. In some cases, haven't seen in years. So yeah, nice to go down memory lane for things like this. So uh, yeah, have you seen any of these movies or shows? If so, what do you think? Do you like any of them? Do you dislike any of them? Are you indifferent on any any of them? Um, give me your thoughts if you like, or you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah. Please have a great day. I uh, hope all of you are doing well. Hope you all have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.